So many of you have been asking for it, so here it is, an updated highlight and contour video. When it comes to highlight and contour, for me, I like to go the more natural route. But I know that some of you want to see a little bit more of a dramatic highlight and contour, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So here we go. First I'm prepping my skin with the Air Atelier Ultimate Makeup Prep. The stuff smells so good. I'm just going to let that sink in. Now there's different ways of doing this. Some like to do it with no foundation and some like to start with a layer of foundation first. I'm just going to go with a very light layer of my Makeup Forever foundation. And lately the Hourglass Number no. 2 brush is my favorite for applying foundation or tinted moisturizer. By the way, don't mind my sunburn. I was out in the desert and someone forgot to extend the sunblock onto her neck and chest, so I'm a little red. Now that I have my foundation on, I'm taking the Motive Sculpt Series palette, which is a palette I actually helped create specifically for highlight and contour. I'm taking a large concealer brush and I'm dipping into my highlight color first. I always like to start under my eyes, so I'll begin at the inner corner and extend to the outer corner and then continue down the sides of my nose. You want to make sure you're extending past your eye to create that lifted cheekbone look. And be sure to highlight around and just below your nostrils too. And of course, same thing on the other side. Now you can see I've created sort of a triangle under my eye. That's an easy way to remember. Another spot you want to highlight is around your mouth. It tends to get dark around there because of the shadows, so start at the outer corner of your mouth and extend out just a bit. And be sure to highlight at the center of your chin and dab a little on your cupid's bow as well. Finally, I'm going to highlight down the bridge of my nose and extend between my brows into the center of my forehead. If you have a larger forehead, you'll want to do just a little highlighting and more contouring instead, and if you have a smaller forehead, highlight away. Okay, so my highlight is complete, now I'm moving on to the contour. I'm taking the second to darkest shade with the same brush, and I'm starting at the hollows of my cheekbones. Here's something else I love about this palette. Since it's a cream formula, you can mix the colors to come up with exactly the right shade for your skin tone. I love being able to do that. Now I have a pretty angular face to begin with, so I'm only doing a little bit of contouring. If you have a rounder or fuller face, you can definitely contour more than I'm doing here. So I'm dotting the contour along my hairline, and you can see I'm darkening up the sides of my forehead. This is going to create a narrower illusion, so my cheekbones will stand out instead. Again, my face is already angular, so I'm just going to take whatever's left on my brush and lightly contour the jawline, and I'm also going to contour my nose just at the tip. I'm darkening under the tip to create a shorter and more lifted appearance, and I'm lightly contouring the sides to fake a narrow nose. So let's recap. I've highlighted under my eyes, around my mouth and my chin, down my nose and the center of my forehead, and I've contoured along my hairline, the hollows of my cheeks, a little along my jawline, and of course the tip of my nose. Now I'm taking this duo fiber brush that's great for blending and creating a natural finish. I'm going to start by blending out the highlight color first and then move on to the contour color so I'm not diluting the highlight. I'm just using small circular motions to blend this out under my eyes. And for the area directly under my lash line, I'm going to use a smaller brush to blend that away. And blending the other side. Next I'm blending the highlight around my mouth. And finishing off by blending my forehead and my nose. I'm taking the smaller brush and blending under my eyes and I'm also going to use this to blend my nose. For highlight and contour it's important to use different size brushes for blending just so you're not mixing too much of the highlight and contour colors together. Now using that same duo fiber brush, I'm going in and blending the contour in the same way, small circular motions.
Now that we're all blended, I'm gonna move on to the setting powder and the blush. I'm using a translucent powder to set just my highlight areas. Of course, with a cream formula, you always wanna make sure that you set. And then I'm taking a peachy blush, and with this, I'm not only adding my blush, but I'm kind of blending with the contour color to make it look a little more natural and more blended. And of course, I can't move on without adding a highlighting powder. I love my Mary Luminizer by The Balm, so I'm applying this with a fan brush at the top of my cheeks and just above the arches of my brows. Now I'm gonna set this entire look with my favorite setting spray from Motives and let that dry. Then I'm ready to add my eye makeup. That is it beauties, I hope you enjoyed this highlight and contour video. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share. Until next time.